الله تعالى في القرآن المجيد والفرقان الحميد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام دينا صدق الله العظيم ونرب الرئيس Respected Chief Guest, Highly Qualified Judges, Teachers and their all. I have been given the honor to speak some words about Islam and science before you. May Allah give us topic to follow the Islamic teachings in all spheres of life. Respected audience, Nowadays, it is a general question arising in a mind which thinks something about this modern age. The age of science and technology, the age of inventions and discoveries. The question is, what is the relation between Islam and science? What is an Islamic approach to science? And does Islam have any harmony with the modern science? The audience, first of all, it's necessary to clarify that Islam is the eternal and perfect religion of Allah. It is in a complete harmony with human nature, so it can never be in contrary to the laws of nature. Its teachings and doctrines cannot can run with the ups and downs of every age. Its basic rules and fundamental doctrines cannot accept any change. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has perfected it and regarded it as the first religion forever as he said Aul billahi minash shaitan al-wajim Inna dina inda Allah al-Islam Truly the religion of Allah is Islam On the other hand, science is a systematic study and knowledge of natural and physical phenomena. It is a developing and growing process. It accepts changes and incorporates modifications. Once it proves something while well, on the other occasion, it rejects it and claims something else. Respected audience, it should also be noted that science is of two types. First is experimental. It comprises experiment and experience. The second type consists of theories and concepts. The first type of experimental science is in complete harmony with Islam. It does not go against Islam in any way. Rather, it has put Islamic teachings and concepts with its discoveries and inventions, like science of medicine, agriculture, and so on. One the other kind of science which carries theories, which carries theories and concepts. It does not favor the Islamic concepts. It does not favor the Islamic concepts. Not only it favors Islam the most, but also it testifies to its truth. Not only it favors Islam the most, but also it testifies to his truth. Respect the audience. In fact, science does not create 